and welcome to Juicy Scoop. Well, I have your favorite, your number one favorite. And if you feel any differently, please don't at Chris Frangiola and tell him that because he's... Oh, do, do, you can. You want to hear that you're not number one favorite? Yeah, I see favorite? it anyway. I see when people write Okay, it. it's okay yeah. that you're like... I can handle it. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're my favorite. Thank you very Don't much. tell Fortune Future. No, no. Okay. Um, we have so much to discuss. So it's, many juicy topics. Yeah. It's, uh, we're taping this on Monday for Tuesday's show, and the biggest news, I woke up Saturday morning to my friend from the East Coast who told me that Epstein had killed himself. Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein. Well, it was about 6.30 a.m., and uh, the next four and a half hours, and actually the next 56 hours, were taken up with me procrastinating. I should be working on my stand-up for my stand-up special, which I did a little bit, but I was like, I have to address this. Clearly, right. the world needs to know what my opinion is. I saw some of your tweets and... Oh, it was really I liked juicy. your tweet about the funeral. Like, uh, you know... That one didn't get as much play because I don't think people got it. Oh, I, my I got tweet it. Up, so my first tweet was... Let me just pull it up. But... Um, Something about it. It's, must be, it's going to be a star-studded funeral. It should day. be. I said it should be a star-studded funeral. I mean, he's hosted so many people at his home and on his plane and his fancy dinners. On Pedophile won, Island, they yeah, call it. Pe yeah, on Pedophile Island. I'm like, I wonder who will be coming. And, um, okay, so wait. And, and a lot of people were like, I don't think they will come. I'm like, I'm joking. Yeah. So this is what I wrote. I wrote, so Jeffrey Epstein hosted so many beautiful dinner parties and weekends on his private island, flights on his plane to so many rich, powerful, fabulous people. I wonder who of them will be attending what should be a star-studded funeral. Of course, there'll be no one there. Um, and then what the, the one that I got a lot of love from was one of the worst humans, Jeffrey Epstein, is now dead. But we all know that means even worse humans may now be protected. Please don't let this stop the truth from being exposed. Now. Now, who's that aimed at? Is that aimed at that the is Clintons? A, uh, it is aimed at, look, I don't think it's political. Right. Because both sides have had, had dealings right. with him. So this is not a Clinton-Trump thing. Yeah. It's like... Who of the elites is it Queen Elizabeth? Because, you know, Prince, Prince Andrew. Yeah. He was there a lot. He supposedly, or allegedly, whatever, had sex with an underage girl, like, on the plane. That was the, one of the main stories yeah. that got this whole thing going in 2006. Right. So, you know, who is it? Like, who? it's it's these elites. It's everybody. I mean, I have a juicy scooper that's put that put a spreadsheet together that... I mean, the amount of people that are tied. Now, some people may have attended one dinner party because it's a nice, fancy dinner. Right. And then there's other people that were his, you know, supposed girlfriend or was his uh, sex slave that then graduated and became the one to procure of the sex slaves. I mean, there's the pilots that never spoke that that have that have seen everything. It's so deep. <clears throat> and but here are the four or five theories of what happened to Jeffrey Epstein. Can I just yes, say, say, can I have you? I know you've talked about this on other podcasts, yes. but uh, now I've heard that in like the pilot's logs and stuff, yes. it was called Pedophile Island. That wasn't a name that they gave joke like. That was what it was called <laughs> the, on in like to, to flight patterns and stuff. The pilots called it that. Yeah. Okay. Pilots, that I did yeah. not know. So I thought it was. I just... thought it was. It was like a legitimate name that he almost right. Gave, like Jeffrey Epstein is dubbed it that. Well, when we were in the the Virgin Islands. Yeah. Which, by the way. I missed, we missed, like, horrible things, okay? So we went at the end of June, middle or end of June, to, on Freedom of the Seas, to the Virgin Islands, okay? One week later was the horrible story of the grandpa holding up the, the one, baby and, the the one and a half year old out of the window. Yeah. That was our ship. Oh, really? That was as people were boarding on a week after we had left. Wow. So the boat hadn't left, but you have, like, six hours to board, yeah. okay? So we missed that disaster. I mean, how horrible... Besides how the horrible the for boat. them, but just the vibe of the boat. Yeah. Like, or if you had a little kid, you're like, oh my God, you hadn't even left on the trip landed, yet. like on the deck of the boat it's, or something. It's horrible. The Lido and deck. Hor horrible, horrible. But I will say, um, I don't think the ship should be accounted for at all. There, it, it was very clear. Your child is below. Why would you pick them up? Everything is up to the waist. It, it was the grandfather, the right? The grandfather said he didn't realize there was no glass there. Okay. Yeah. But the grandfather wasn't super elderly. Like, he had a job and stuff. So I don't right. think it... Whatever. It's horrible. What, he, like, put her against the window and she went to touch he, the window? He said he held her up what he thought was a glass window. And she loves to go to hockey games and hit her hands on the window. 
And so he did that thinking there wasn't a window there, oh, which it clearly was opened. I yeah. think it was clearly open. And she leaned forward and fell out. Oh, so he was holding her? Yes. Fuck. So wow. he lifted her up. The people were like, how are there open windows? Well, it wasn't like it was open window on the ground. If it one yeah. and a half row was there, there's still glass all at the bottom. The glass and every balcony came up, and I'm like 5'9", above my waist. Right. So I couldn't fall over. I, I would have to lift my leg over and like, yeah. you know, so you don't lift up a child. Okay, so we missed that horrible disaster. Then we were in Puerto Rico just a couple days before. Two weeks the after government. that, the government, there was a big riot yeah. and all yeah. this other yeah. stuff. Yeah. When we were on one of the tours, we had this really great guy. He was from Atlanta and he was like really given the juicy scoop. Okay, and I said you are a juicy scoop. Like I was on like, Puerto Rico. We're on a we're on a little boat like to an island, like a little excursion. In, like, in Puerto Rico. No, um, in the Virgin Islands. Oh, okay. So our first, I think it was Saint Thomas, or I don't can't remember where we were, but um, so we're going around to these little islands for the day, and you let store calling come on, and he's like, and right over there, now he didn't say pedophile, and he goes, is Jeffrey Epstein's private island? He has hosted current presidents, past presidents, not hosted, but he said he's friends with current president, hosted past presidents, past princes, Saudi Arabian people. Like, yeah. he goes into all this, he's like, and he's gotten a lot of trouble, so why don't you just Google it? And I scream, he's a pedophile! And everyone's like, no one knew what I was talking about. Right. And then I'm like, so you know, Jeff Epstein's like a full-on pedophile, it's pedophile island. He goes, well, yeah, but I'm not saying that because I'm getting paid by this little boat company, but right. I'm like, but I, I'm like, but I do appreciate you giving the juicy scoop. And he was like, there's Joe Biden's house. Nobody has to pay taxes. Here's Carol Burnett's house. Like he was just like doing the full, like it was like a TMZ. Yeah. Like, boat oh, wow. Trip. So we missed all that. So anyway, yes, the pedophile island from things I've seen is really weird stuff. Now there's all these underground groups and things and people that are writing. It's not even underground because right. this one got a lot his supposed suicide, a lot of people were openly speaking about, like, this is fucking bullshit. Oh, everybody online. Why wasn't, you know, if they can keep yeah. El Chapo alive, how did they not keep, keep, keep he, him alive? Supposedly he committed suicide. They took him, he wasn't on suicide watch is what they said. Yeah, the guys And he was able to hung him. First of all, how in 2019 is anybody able to kill themselves in a jail cell? At any jail cell. Right. Like, yeah. they should figure out, there shouldn't be anything to hang it from. There shouldn't be like, yeah. how is this still possible? I mean, they give them rubber pens to write with, like, yeah. or pencil or something. I don't know. I, yeah, but but I, so so what do you think? Somebody goes in and does okay, it? Okay, so or? here are like the four Those theories. Two, uh, One is uh, he was suicidal, and yeah, he had, and they he, turned, a couple weeks ago he had he, he had tried and and they moved either he was paid person. by. Epstein's people or something so that those people turn around and let him kill himself. Yeah, maybe they gave him the tools. The other one is people came in and killed him and made it look like a suicide so that he won't share all his information. Like who? Like Queen Elizabeth comes in and dressed like a prison guard? Not Queen Elizabeth, <laughs> but people that work for the elites. I mean, we've all signed up Grey Donovan, okay? Yeah. We've all, there is, there is things like, there's mafia, there's been stuff like this our whole life. Right, so this, whoever yeah. it could be, it could be, it could be from someone that's not even in the radar and right. they're just a rich, powerful person. My thing is, the other thing about Jeffrey Epstein is people said, how did he become so rich? He's supposedly a hedge fund manager for billionaires. How did he become so rich? Right. The, the theory that I believe is it wasn't making 30% um, off a, a child hooker that came to his Manhattan thing, okay? Right. He, he wasn't a pimp. What I think is he is a pedophile. He had these young girls come. He invites these powerful people to the home or to the island. He's like, Hey, ready, ready to rip it, you dirty old man, you know, and here's these girls, and they're 15, 16, and they look very young, no one asks their age, but they're not nine, okay, this is what I right. think happened, uh, yeah. and the party happens, and the guy has either sex with them, or gets a BJ from them, or something, uh -huh. then Jeffrey Epstein would go to them and say, so will you invest in my something for a million dollars, or whatever, no, I won't, oh, uh, it would be really unfortunate if your wife and child and everyone at your company found out that you got a BJ from a 15 year old. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? You know, bad enough that he was with another woman, but so I think that there was a lot of blackmailing like that. And I think he had a lot on people that then were like, holy shit, it was a one night of a mistake. I'm not a pedophile, whatever. There's that 
theory, which I kind of think is the majority of where the money came. Then there's the theory that it's like so sadistic. They're stealing kids from the islands. You know, um, there's submarine so that people can like. Submarine? There's supposedly a submarine. With that cakes of little hookers back and forth? <laughs> I didn't know I that. don't know, but like, why would you have a submarine? Or was a submarine just a one-time date, like, exciting yeah, thing for like his guests? Hook, like, yeah, love or, or for the guests or whatever. Like, what is yeah. it, you know? That Clinton said, I, I only hung out with him twice, that it was to get a free ride to go help, like, AIDS in Haiti. And then now they're showing that he's been there 27 times. Like, what, you know, there's just so much to it. And whatever theory you want to believe is fine, but the fact that, I think there's a lot of cover-up. So there's that idea that, A, he killed himself, they looked away. B, someone came in and did the job and made okay. it look like a suicide. C, they took him away and they're protecting him and so that he can help them with this investigation. Because I had read things were happening that don't normally happen in a, in a prison on a weekend. Like, um, they, he, they, they asked his, his cellmate to leave and they don't do that on Saturday or something ever. Did you hear that? How? Why does he have a cellmate? Yeah, but he had a cellmate. And that, he, now that's weird. So they asked him to leave. The most powerful person, like yeah. the most powerful uh, witness and criminal right. that we're dealing with right now that's connected to the most powerful people in the world. Yeah. And you're like, okay, here's Joey, your roommate. Like, right. what? Yeah. That's crazy. I know, I know. So anyway, that was, uh, and then I heard that the, 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 the truck that came up like they don't allow that on weekends. So right. They pick up, you know, the whatever coroner's truck or whatever. They don't allow that. And that was the first time that had happened. Yes. And I had heard that they, you know, the coroner's truck had taken whoever. So there's a theory that people wanted him dead so he couldn't talk, but there's also a theory that people wanted him dead so that the defense won't even have the power that it would have with a living person. Right. So now with him dead, it's like all the information that they've already gotten this yeah. person can't really defend himself anymore. And it's almost like, it's like the way you can talk about, a, you know, you could talk about Roger Ailes more freely because he's dead than you yeah. could three years ago because they're like, oh, you can't talk about me. So we can talk about Michael Jackson. You know, it's like, so I, so there's that. So it's yeah. those four things. And the other thing is, supposedly there's this photo going around of Epstein's dead body. And I it's saw this it guy with yeah. a different nose, a different profile of a nose, and a different shaped ear. And But my question is, this this photo of the supposedly dead Epstein that doesn't look like Epstein, did someone doctor that photo to go, like, where is this photo? Someone on the cover of the LA Times yeah. saying this is him. So, like, that is now looking to be something that's doctored up. Yeah. Like, you know, but so I... So, are, are they still going to investigate this to see... Who I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to figure out who went into the prison if if that's how it happened. Like these things well, are that, easily well, figured that, out. Well, that's that's what makes everyone go, "What the f is going on in the world?" Right. Because they're keeping there's so much information, yet the people that should be delivering it still have the power to suppress it. Yeah, and you know, and then there's other thoughts like, "Oh." They're, they're keeping him and they're doing this so that it takes the spotlight off of the horrible shootings. I'm like, well, that doesn't make sense to yeah. me. Well, who cares? You know, there's a shooting every day, so I don't understand right. why this is. Um, so. Now, is Pedophile Island still open for a bit? Like, are there hookers <laughs> waiting there? Like, oh, shit. I, that, no, because it was this private island. So there's, there's supposedly Google photos yeah. of um, what was a gym. And you can see, like, these beds with chains and stuff. Oh, they were chaining people down? Well, that's, I guess, part of the... I mean, it's really... I think it's really huge. I yeah. think it's, like, going to be mind-blowing. I, I think right now um, there's also a lot of things that I think that people aren't seeing where they're trying to normalize pedophilia in, in movies and films. And you know, there was even a TED Talk with this German girl that was, like, 30, did a whole talk about how a percentage of men are attracted to children and if you realize that's, you know, this many millions of people in the world, so right. we just need to accept that they won't change and that's part of life. Like, it's very, it's it's crazy. I mean, I was just watching, I was just watching um, uh, Priscilla Presley, yeah. you know, on, on talking about, yeah. uh, you know, even though they're divorced and everything, oh, we're doing so much to celebrate Elvis Presley's um, thing. And I'm like, yeah, and you guys were fucking when you were 14. Right. 
Didn't he meet her when he was 14 and then got the parents' approval and they got married when Something she was like, like 16 yeah, yeah. and he was like 30? Well, look at every song from the 50s. It's all like, you're 16, you're beautiful, and you're mine. I mean, every song. Like, she's 17. There's not nobody good. There's no song. She's 36 and she's my lady. You know what yeah. I mean? Every song's like about teenage girls. It's sung by a 50-year-old man. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's like the thing is, like we know we know better, and and everybody grows up knowing that it's wrong now. So it's ah. like, if you are pursuing that, then you're really sick, and it's yeah. just the manipulation of someone that's so young that can happen. But yeah. Now once again, I I, I don't want to be, uh, but I have point enough points to on Southwest to get to Petafly Island for free if it's still open. So. <laughs> I have two tickets on Southwest. Is that fly to Southwest? It's a private island, but the, pi the pilots did say, yeah. you know, they're anonymous, but they're getting subpoenaed. And I, and I you know. Now, can I also, this is going to sound terrible, yes. but this doesn't make it better. But it almost makes it a little bit better that the girls were like 16 and 17 and not four. It, it, does that sound terrible to say? It absolutely does not sound terrible yeah. because it's true. Um, like I, I, I had heard the girls in the, at least in Miami in West Palm Beach, or whatever. Like they were like you know kind of girls who not runaways, but they you know whatever. And he would kind of get them to come to the house, and then he would tell them go get some of your other friends to come. And the girls would come. I'm not saying this is right or wrong, right? But the girls would go. You know, hey, you want to? This guy's giving out two hundred bucks to massage him, and the girls like shit. I'll go over there. He's got a pool and a. You know, beach house and West. So it was almost like not, you know, once again, not saying it's right or wrong, but they were like, oh, shit, this is kind of a cool thing to hang out with this guy. Right. But that's why I think my theory of how he like blackmailed really powerful people. Right. Come to these parties and there's all these hot girls, just like the Playboy Mansion, except at the Playboy Mansion, they were over 21 or yeah. over 18 at least. Right. Um, you know, Hugh Hefner made sure of that. Yeah, in running true. his parties and having hot girls come and, you know. And what about your friend? Didn't he have, like, a pedophile island or something? Who? The, the guy from... <laughs> Joe Francis? Yeah. No. That? No, that was not... No, no, but there was a similar thing in that, you know, he would go out and film, like, New Orleans on spring break... Yeah. And did, did they he get would, in trouble for that? I think like one time maybe a girl a did her shirt and was under eighteen. And yeah, then, you know, girls gone they, wild. Yeah, and then they made sure like, what's your ID and all that type of stuff. Right. Made sure that that didn't happen. But yeah. yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, but but the point is that it's just so connected and it was so secretive and suppressed and weird. And then now there's the Victoria's Secret connection where. What's the, that? This guy that booked uh, Victoria's Secret and had the connect, he, they, he would get the girls like that. Don't you want to be on Victoria's Secret? You're going to meet this guy. And then there's been questioning like, when did you meet Heidi Klum and Naomi Campbell? And what is oh, their. Oh, the guy who owns Victoria's Secret? Really? Yeah, like, what's the connection between those women? And yeah. again, it could be that they didn't know the extent of it. They knew and turned their head. Right. You know, I mean, where is it that A, you were at the event? Yeah. A, you took a party with uh, you took a photo with Harvey Weinstein six years ago. To like you were bringing him chicks that he could like rape in a massage. Like there is a, a, a level like I, of it, you know, that like okay. Like I know in New York City, you know, year before, I mean, they right. were kind of. I guess Jeffrey Epstein was known like hey, he gets into young girls. Yeah. Which I mean, that's whatever every old guy, rich guy right. is, you know. Uh, so if, if you were invited to a dinner party at his house, like I think Chelsea Handler went to one yeah. of them, and and. Uh, but would you go, like, if 10 years ago, somebody's like, he's having a, a dinner party at his gorgeous penthouse. I mean, you and they were... I like, mean, if course. I wasn't aware, because he was already convicted after that and did time. Right. Before, and then that party happened. Yeah. With Katie Couric and Stefan Lopagopoulos, whatever his name oh, is. Oh, they were George, all at, yeah. yeah then, and Chelsea and Woody Allen and all these people. That was after he'd been convicted and done a couple years. Yeah, but so who, I who would, checks the background of anybody who get a party? But then the other thing is, you know, look at all the people that continue to do Woody Allen movies. Still do. Still do. Yeah. Still think he's great. Right. Still want to take his side that, like, yeah. the stepdaughter never even liked Mia Farrow. Right. Thought she was a bitch, and they fell in love, and nothing happened until she was 18, and, yeah. you know, all of that. And now they've been together 25 years, so... Is there Who's any getting the like, last big actor laugh? That... Like, it, it, maybe they're really meant to be together, him and Sun Yi. I don't know, but yeah. I mean, it's a horrible story. 
What? Is there any big actor who's taken like a, a anti Woody Allen stance? I mean, I've heard like, you know, Tom Sizemore. Me, so. I will turn down a role. Yeah, like I've heard like, like some of course it's who easy. aren't getting offered it. It's, you know. Of course, it's easy for me to say right. I'm never going to be offered the role. Yeah. You know, so it's like but I. But I'm can saying, sit is there somebody my... who would? Uh, yeah, like he was uh, Tom Hanks was offered the role, but he said no, I won't work with Woody Allen. You haven't heard anything. No, like that. I don't think anyone will do the state. Will say the statement. Yeah. But the thing about Woody Allen is is that in those movies where, like, with Mariel Hemingway, who was, like, 17, and he's, like, 43 in the movie, and she yeah. just can't get enough of his little scrawny body, like, madly in love with him, pursuing right. him. He's like, ah, oh, get this g- g- model girl away from me. And you'd start to watch the movie, and I was like, this is a weird couple. And by the end, I'm like, oh, I can see what she likes about it, because he wrote the movie. Right. He directed the movie. That's where yeah. I'm talking about how people in media, I think, try to like to sensitize to it and get you to think it's okay. Right. Like this weird 40 year relationship difference is, is fine. Like I'm watching married to millions right now on lifetime. And there's like this 60 year old rich guy in Dallas. And he met a 21 year old Latina, um, hostess, like lives in an apartment with her family. Very cute little natural skinny thing. Looks very young. And they're a couple, and she's going to things and all of this. And um, it's, you know, he's had a bunch of wives and girlfriends, and, and the show is super fake. But I think their, their relationship is the most real of the, of, the, yeah. of the show. And, yeah, I mean, it's just that. It's like he likes a young girl, but he's smart enough to know that wait until they're, like, at least, like, 21. It, I don't find Pamela I mean, Allen to be fun. like a bunch of six-year-old girls sounds like a fucking nightmare to me. Like just sitting there texting and like, you know. <laughs> I'd rather have. A I don't think they four, let them have. I'd phones. rather have a bunch of forty-three-year-old broads in white jeans. Like if people come to your show, that sounds like more of a fun island to me. Drinking white claw. <laughs> but I mean, I think that's what it is. I think guys just want the pretty girls to not talk and and do their sexual acts. They yeah. don't want to have a conversation. They don't want to hear about your kid. They don't want to hear about your business. Did they you want to yoga documentary? <laughs> I, I don't know if you have, but it, you should. If you would love it, it's another guy who's set along the lines of a Jeffrey Epstein. Okay. He created that uh, the the security software on every computer. It's called like um, what's the, what's the name of every security? It's a mix, mix something. Mix, yeah. It's, it's his security software. He created it. So yeah. he's a billionaire, and he has an island. And he did the same thing. He had like young girls on the island that people would come, and he right. had a hammock that the young, one of the girls she's you know speaking broken English, and uh, she's a Spanish girl, and he said he had a hammock with a hole cut in a hammock, and um, he would have the girls lie in the hammock, and, and <laughs> they would shit through the hole in the hammock as he lied underneath. <laughs> Not even the glass table. No, separating. on a ha- like a hammock hole, and they would shit. He would shit on. They would shit on him. Oh, because the famous in. story was that um, Robert Evans would get under a glass table. I've heard that a glass yeah. coffee table. Yeah, didn't Madonna do that in, in in that book? Remember her sex book? Yeah, why didn't Madonna she do that? Shit, she shit on a coffee table. No, in she. Book. I don't yes, think she, she did. She's standing on the street corner naked. No, that's the one famous picture. But you got to remember the whole how books. Co- remember how controversial it was that she was like kissing like um, the comedian. What's her name? Sandra Bernhardt. Sandra Bernhardt. Yeah. Like, oh my God, Madonna's like a little bit bi. Now yeah. you're like, who cares? The other day, just, just one this week. Let's talk about that. Yeah. So Miley Cyrus and Chris Hemsworth. They've been on and off. They got it's married. It's not Chris Hemsworth, though. What is it? It's uh, Liam. Liam. Liam Hemsworth, yeah. Oh, Chris is the brother. So Liam... Chris is Thor. Liam, I don't really know. He was... I don't know what movies he's in. He's Chris, hot. Yeah. He's Australian. They got married um, in, like, a smaller ceremony. Like, it was... Basically, it was known because, like, the younger sister, like, tweeted about it. Anyway, they announced they were broken up. They've been together like 10 years. On and, and off. they just got married recently. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if it's been 10, but it's been a while. It's like been a six. long time. Like she, I feel like she dated him. Then she went through her teddy, pumping the teddy bear phase. Yes. When where she, she was just all about, I love pot and doing ecstasy and yeah. being with girls and like would literally like couldn't stop touching her vagina. Her tongue was out all the time. Yes. Yeah. Then she like got back to being like a country singer. Right. And then I was like, well, maybe this is the real her that just wants, like, a normal guy. Maybe, you know. But, again, if you want to get to uh, theories about pedophilia and stuff. Oh, on this one? Well, child stars, you know, a lot of people feel like child stars um, 
that there's a theory of like that they're uh, abused in yeah. business to like mind control them because what happens in any kind of thing like I was just reading in the LA Times this article about this girl who joined the Mansion clan when she was like 14 yeah and she never didn't participate in the murders and she's talking about it now because that that's the storyline in the, in the um, yeah, what's Quentin it called Tarantino. the yeah. one night in Hollywood yeah. or whatever it is and um so it's a 50 year anniversary of it but Two. yes and so she meets Charles Manson and we all know he's a master manipulator but he um you know has you know makes her feel like a woman and makes love to her really nicely yeah and then she's part of this cult and she's doing drugs and everything and then later on he's like sodomizing her and passing her around to other people and at the, she's mind controlled like yeah. because she had the sex and everything so young in such a weird way it's like a mind control kind of a way where it doesn't occur to them to like get up and leave that Chatsworth ranch like right. they're so sucked in they can't see anything and until they get away from it for a few weeks and like any other kind of cult and so with with Miley Cyrus and I'm not saying this happened to her you know but like you know just starting to work so young how she said oh I'd have coffee if I was tired we talked about how like Justin, oh, Bieber, Justin Bieber they, they gave him a vitamin the, B shot. Yeah, so yeah. they could do our, our dumb show. Yeah. And it's like still the kid's just like ten or twelve. Like, come on. But it has to get done. And it's like it's too much, you know, so I think that all oh, why Britney Spears and so I think I think Miley's like fine, but I think she kinda had like a I think she's very sexualized. I think she's right. a very sexual person. So this weekend she's on a yacht. And Caitlyn, with a K, Jenner, who is Brody Jenner's ex-wife, but they're not really divorced because they never really got married. The two of them are making out everywhere. Yeah. On the yacht. I, I saw pictures, yeah. Yeah, and then... Now, how do, they, how do those two worlds collide? How do they know each other? Just a Malibu thing? I think it's just a Malibu rich yeah. person, Instagram, meet at a party, right. let's hang out. So they're making out everywhere. And then Brody Jenner tweets or posts on Instagram like something, hey, it's been a wild weekend or something. And is, then, he, is he involved? Is he on the yacht as well? No. So he's the ex-boyfriend of the Caitlyn Jenner, who's oh, making I, out with Miley. They're Brody not still Jenner. together? No, they broke up oh, like a week ago. Oh, yeah, because they, I thought and they were married. I, Did they, they, they have a kid or they, No, they didn't get married. The brother has kids. Brody and Caitlyn, with a K, got married like seven months or eight months ago in Indonesia and they were supposed to come back and make it official, like uh -huh. at the courthouse. They never did. He started doing the hills. They announced they broke up this week. And people that have associated with them in the last month or so had like said there was the things were definitely off. Like I just did a press thing, a radio thing, and the people said that they were here two weeks ago, and it was like tension city. Oh really? Yeah. So I think that. Um, so, yeah, and then I, I think they were broken up, you know, or getting to that. But with the hills and everything, she wants to be a star. She's on a yeah. sh she's on the show, too. So now she's with Miley on a boat making out. And and Brand and uh, Brody writes, like, oh, it's a crazy weekend. And then Brandon Lee, who's Tommy Lee's son, who's part of the hills, writes, oh, like... Oh, is he part of the hills? He's on the hills, yeah. Huh. And he writes something like, um, yeah, why, you know, why don't we get caught making out or holding hands or something? And then Miley commented, saying, "Why don't you go in your in your dumb truck and fall asleep, Brody? Hot girl, hot girl summer." And then it's two little like lesbians holding hands. That's emoji. quite a disc. Go in your truck and fall. Asleep. I guess there was something where he slept yeah. in his truck on the hills or something. Oh. Take a nap in your truck. Take a nap and in cool your off. truck wow, and she, cool off. Yeah. She got him. <laughs> I feel like some of this stuff. I'm like, is this now, how all... old is Miley Cyrus? I, is she now 35 or is she still 23? I have 23. no idea. 23. Is she really? I don't know. Look, can you look up how old she is? I think she's about 23, 24. Max. Oh, so 26. she's still a kid. Still a kid. Like it's still time to be making out on a yacht and whatever. Like that's that'll. And I, I think end. for Caitlyn, this is like for the best thing that's ever happened to her. Like she, she's ever, 26. She's 26. 26. You're right. Yeah. But I mean, I, I kind of wonder. Like, yeah, maybe she likes kissing Miley and. But I also think it's like it's such a quick, easy way to like get your name out there and get. Now is Caitlyn is is, is is Caitlyn with a K? Is is she a, like a daughter of somebody famous or something? No, she was just his girlfriend for like seven years. Yeah, okay. and she's just a really pretty blonde that like they've literally been a boyfriend girlfriend for seven years. Okay, and where was this yacht heading? 
I, I, I feel like there's a lot Italy. of yacht. There's, Italy. Oh, they were on the Kylie Jenner yacht? No, they were. They probably waved at them. Because wasn't there? They they were on a yacht as well that was yes. heading to Italy. They're yeah. in Italy currently. Twenty right. second birthday. Happy birthday, Kylie. Is it Kylie or Kendall? Kylie. Kylie's okay. birthday. Which, by the way, Caitlyn Jenner with a C, senior. She posted a photo like to my, you know, yeah. and she posted a photo and said, you know, to my daughter, Kylie, you know, happy birthday. These years were difficult, but fun or something. The tweet alone made it about herself, yeah. made it about Caitlyn, not about Kylie. So that already yeah. annoyed me. But Caitlyn supposedly put a photo of her daughter Kendall, not Kylie. Yes, I heard that. So then immediately took it down and then just did a, poacher, put a photo with Caitlyn when she was Bruce with the two, both little girls. And was right. like, happy birthday, Kylie. I was... <laughs> I mean, at that point, just take it down and, like, yeah. take a week off. Like, don't to... try to redo it. Like, we're, everyone, there's people watching. Like, just come on already. Yeah. But um, flip it like Disick. If we're oh. just on the Kardashian thing. Flip it like Disick. Scott Disick is flipping homes. And <coughs> now, yes. Can I just add, yes, Did please. he have a background in something like that? Or they just, no. did they just find a way to shoehorn him into something on E? Like, how do we yes. get him involved in something? Let's have him flip homes. But he wasn't a this home is, flipper. This is what I think. You know, I think that he bought a house in Calabasas and he, like, knocked down a wall to make, like, a larger room. Right. And then was like, oh, I'm a house flipper. A lot of people do that. A lot of people get into decorating and house flipping because they do it themselves. And then they're like, I kind of love it. And they build a team and they do it. Okay. Right. So I'm not saying it's like that you can't do it, you know? I mean, you have a good eye. You don't need a license to be a stylist or a decorator. You really don't. So yeah. it's like, either you like the way the furniture looks or you don't. But in this in this show, he, um, unlike the other house flipper shows that are truly house flipper shows where you're like, these people are geniuses, right. which is the Joanna Chip and Chip Gaines, Gaines yeah. where I watch, you told me to watch it because you want us to like- I want you to do it. At, we were gonna do yeah, it a little bit. I think you could now oh, Joanna And of Gaines. course, you'd be an amazing Chip. Yeah. First of all, um, I saw their stuff in before watching the show. I saw yeah. their stuff in Target. And I was annoyed the way you get annoyed at just like, this couple is too perfect. Yeah. They have too many kids. She's too thin to have this many kids. She's pretty. She's a little ethnic. They mix a little Asian in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, they have, they're in love. What the yeah. fuck? Okay. And so I'm like, and then I go to the Magnolia display and I'm like, what's going on? Well, I get on the plane after you talk to me, and I see that they offer an episode they of They do. It. They offer Yeah, you can watch it. Fell yeah. in love. Oh, it's great. Fell in love. I love them. Yeah. I love their work. I love it's what they amazing. did. Okay? I'm ready to move to Waco, Texas. I'm ready to take an old barn door and make it a headboard. I'm ready to do it. <laughs> Ship laugh. Nobody would have thought of doing yeah. that except for Joanna Gaines. I know. And she thinks of different things every time. There's some decorators on, on TV where I'm like, it's the same. You do the same thing in every house. Right. You have your palette that you like. They do different things to fit the family. The family was this cute family in Texas. She spoke barely any English. She's Latina. But they're like 40 and they have three kids. And this is the first house. They bought it for $152. i am dying. I'm wet in my seat. Yeah. Like there's a house for it's $152. Amazing. And then, they're nice houses. They like that'd be eight hundred dollars While they're doing yeah. it, Chip goes, you know what? There's a three-car garage. Yeah. They don't need a three-car garage. Let's make, let's add on a master. So now they have a four-bedroom house. Yeah. It's all gets done. It's beautifully done. And they they add like now it's worth like two seventy, and they yeah. only put like sixty thousand in it to add a bedroom. It's crazy. All the furniture, the kitchen. I am like, I know Waco has some bad press, okay? Because of the guy. <laughs> because of the <laughs> the, good, the, the, the cult leader, yeah. and then everyone they, it went on fire, and um, right. That that one woman that worked for the government, she fucked up. Anyway, it was a sad day in Waco when that yeah. happened. But if you could move to Waco. Janet Reno. <laughs> yes, Janet yeah. Reno. And have Joanna do your house. Oh, my God. Okay, so I'm just saying, there's certain people on did these channels. They, did, now, they, in one of these seasons, they bought a si these two giant silos. And what are silos? They're like, they hold grain and stuff. They were these old rusty silos. Okay. Big giant things on, on a farm. And they, that's now their store that you could go to. If you go to Waco, Texas, they have these 
they turn these silos into their offices and their store and, and the whole thing. You know, they have a coffee shop. Yeah, that's in the silo. The coffee shop. <sighs> I feel like they're, they're trying to get the kids involved a little too much, I've noticed. It's a lot of, uh, like, them in the kitchen starting out the day, what they're oh. going to do. And that didn't used to be. The one I saw was just beginning to end amazing work. Yeah, it is. And they, I they was just like, amazing work. oh, my God. They do. They have a nice line of Target, but they're leaning heavy on golds and cactuses. A lot of little cactuses and gold pots, which will turn any place in, you know, any shit all over. A lot of just, spot. and a lot of, like, just, they're very into, like, no cabinetry. Yeah. So it's just, like, a shelf and then just white bowls. And white, white bowls. And then also, <laughs> if you have books, yeah, don't show the titles. Turn them so it's just the white inside of the books. And then put... That's them on, the way you yeah, do it all. Yeah, turn the... them on their side and put something on top of the book. Yes. Like candle or something. Right. Fun. Yeah. We know. I We could do it. So anyway, exactly. So so I guess one day, Scott Disick was on that same United flight. Yeah. And saw this TV show. And then was like, I could do this. So, but unlike people where you watch it and you're like, oh my God, that's relatable. I could, oh my God, I kind of see how I could maybe add, learn something. Yeah. Okay. Scott Disick is flipping houses that are $3.75 million in Hidden Hills. Right. And he's got great ideas. Like, we don't need this sport court. We're going to make this backyard bigger. Oh God, you're a genius, Scott. Like the, you're a genius. Yeah. You know what? We could... Uh, this wall between the dining room and the living room, knock it out. <laughs> Let's make a bigger, more open living. God, Scott, yeah. you're just a genius. You know, and then every scene is, let me, you know, every show is like, hammer. okay, let me take a sledgehammer. Okay, we're good. Can we leave yeah. now? Do we do our bits? Then he gets these two other guys that are amping it up so much for the camera. Are they like the, the workers or something? No, they're like his flipping partners. Oh. So they're fighting unnecessarily. They, you know, then they, oh, then they have this girl that is the stager or something. I don't know how she got into it, but she's this pretty oh, girl. Oh, she, she? she was a singer. Um, she used to be a singer. Yeah, used to be a singer. I want to be bad, right? Yeah. yeah. What's her name? Uh, Faith. Uh, uh, oh, I've seen her on, te I saw her on Today Show. She used to be like here. a huge pop star yeah. for a minute. So yeah. they go and they have to fly on a private jet to Vegas to do some work on Steve Aoki, whatever his name is, oh, DJ, yeah. that has this house in Vegas. And, of course, he's willing to do it because he's on the show and whatever. And so she's like, I'm going to do this cool mural, and it's like this weird dinosaur. It looks like oh, Willa Night Ford. at the Museum. That's it, Willa Ford. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They tried to make her a pop star, yeah. then they tried to make her an actress. They really now she's put, a stager. Somebody put a lot of work into that girl. Mm -hmm. She That was a lot of work. Well, the stakes are high. Yeah. Because if she can't stage this house that they're trying to sell Steve it now. Steve house. Well, that one she succeeded oh, at. Okay. She did a dinosaur painting or something, and then, you know. Oh, okay. So now this is where it's really like, they're not going to let me on the team of this fake show. <laughs> if, she doesn't. if I don't stage yeah. this show, this, this room is great as possible. So it's just like kind of a modern looking house in Malibu. And they show it before, and it's just like, and then it's like one couch. And then, like, a little blanket on the edge of the couch. Yeah. And then two things. And then a plant on a book. Yeah. And they're like, wow, Willa, you freaking <laughs> killed it. You killed it. And she goes, I couldn't find a, a, a rug big enough, so I just layered it. And then I looked down. The rug looks awful. It's like they took four little, like, dog rugs and, like, and put, put it, it together. Top. Good idea. <laughs> and they're like, you killed it. And, and then it's like... It's always so weird because when I ever watch the Kardashians... Now, they actually flip live, the homes and they sell them? Then they're going to sell it. Then they're yeah. going to find someone to sell it. But they didn't do much to this. They just redid the planter and put some furniture in it. That yeah. was that flip, the right. way I understood. The big flip, which is going to be all season, is this house in Hidden Hills that they bought for 3.75. Oh, so that would be an entire season. That they hope to get done, you know, for $6 million right. or whatever. And, um, but, you know, Scott, Scott Disick, Dis Dis he has this talentless sweatshirt line... Which I'm always like, do the do the Kardashians ever get pissed that someone just steals their idea? Like Kylie started all the makeup, right? And then right after that, Kim Kardashian has all her palettes, and Court, you know, and Chloe has her palettes, and I'm like, but or does or is Kylie just so wealthy? She's like, whatever, I wouldn't be here without Kim. Like probably that's the case. Of course, she probably first got annoyed and then was like, what can I do? Yeah. So then you know, Kanye has all the sweats. He's got the yeah. The he bag. has all the yeah, sweatshirts. I don't, I don't and like then, him. And, yeah. and then, so now, 
um, Scott has this. T it's called talentless. It's all these sweats. It's just oh, a sweatshirt. It's sweatshirt? just a sweatshirt. It's just like a gas. Talentless. It's called talentless. Oh, so it? he's kind of in on the joke. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if they're annoyed that like, yeah. or they're just like, oh God, we're such billionaires, Scott. Just sell your whatever. Right. So now uh, the latest is Kanye. You know, he has his church and that he building. does. And everybody wears the, the ripped up like tie dye sweats for $500 yeah. a pair. And they sing in 104 degree heat in on a Sunday the field, yeah. in the middle of field in Calabasas. Yeah, it's, it's called a Sunday service. And then he bought like 300 acres or something out in Calabasas that was not developed. Right. And he wants to put these domes, these Star Wars domes. Star on there. Wars inspired domes. domes. They, they're basically what you see in the st first Star Wars on the. Yeah, right. Or like. Skywalker a, lives. Or if you went to like a, a fourth grade California museum trip, you'd see like the Indians made tents. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a, a dome, or igloo. Adobe or huts. An igloo. Yeah, an igloo. Yeah, same yeah. type of. Uh, you know, it's like we idea. moved from igloos to like homes that had bedrooms and closets. Right. Why would anyone want to go back to just a dome? And it's for homeless people, right? Well, he says it's for his community. But I don't know that he's going to be, like, picking up homeless people. His community, there's no homeless people where they live, I don't think. But you have No, to well, actually, I didn't even know this, but because Calabasas is not L.A. County, yeah. they apparently don't let the homeless people, like, sleep or do anything here. Yeah. So, um... They, they actually, they, they have their own police department, so they'll come around and say, you have to leave, yeah. unlike Los Angeles. So, um, anyway, they put the domes up. People yeah, they're saw actually the built. domes, and they said, oh, they're temporary, and that they had concrete um, foundations, so they're like, no, they're not. You have to take them down, you got to pay us $1,400. So, I, I mean, I can only imagine the people that he, like, said, hey, start building these domes, and everyone's just like, this is going to get shut down, but whatever, he just gave us $50,000 right. to make these domes. Yeah. That should be the next season of Scott Disick. He should try and flip those. <laughs> Who wants a homeless dome from Scott Disick and Willa Ford? But I mean, like, does anybody ever just go, like, does Courtney ever just go to That's Kim? That's a dumb idea. And be like, hey, um, so what's up with your husband's domes? Yeah. It's fucking weird. Like, they, like just, everyone just has to go along with this. No one's ever just like, hey, Kim, do you ever think maybe one day you'd like to hang a photo on your wall or you're right. just done? I know. It's so you're weird, like, that house. you know. And now I North, him, now North is rebelling, though, because for the first five years of her life, she could only wear nudes, like nude, oh. nude clothes. Oh, really? Like browns yeah. and blacks. Yeah. And now that she's like seven, she's like worn green and sparkles and really? stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know if you watched the Letterman interview on Netflix with Kanye. Uh -huh, and no. Letterman goes to their house. Uh, and it's very strange. You know, it's, it's it's like it looks like it, there's nothing in it, right? It's just. But I guess that's the look. And the yeah. closet's got like four shirts. And then Letterman goes and tries stuff on. Yeah. And then he walks out of the kitchen, and they're just sitting there. Chris and Kim. Yeah. Are just sitting there, like not even the least bit concerned that Letterman's in their home. They, they don't even care. <laughs> I honestly don't really think Kim knew who he was. Like they thought he was a homeless guy, probably going to live in <laughs> Kanye's hut <laughs> with that big beard. Yeah, with that yeah. big beard. Yeah. So. Oh. It's very strange. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's like, here's the thing. But can't the, I haven't talked to Chris in a long time. Like, we'll yeah. text each other once in a while. But you know what? I'm like, really? I don't know that I can sit with her and, like, have a conversation and just be like, how are the kids? Oh, Drake is on the golf team this year, and your son-in-law is being building domes for right. his cult. Like, am I never going right. to, like, talk about, like, what the hell? But aren't they for homeless people? Am I wrong? That's what I thought he was trying to do. He, trying he to said for his community. Homeless house. So well, I don't know. Will you look? I don't know if he's actually said I, I want to bring homeless, homeless housing. people. I don't know if he actually said I want to bring in homeless people. Yeah. Or is it I want to build my community, and whatever that community might be could be Family, friends, assistants. I don't know who's living in the do domes. Okay. Well, I i mean, I don't think people who live in that area, that really nice area, want homeless people coming to live in there. It's for the homeless. Yeah. Well, good luck with that. Yeah. Some crack addict up there. Thank you very much, Kanye West, for this uh, beautiful <laughs> dome-inspired Star Wars. Well, listen, unless they can... This is the thing, you know. Unfortunately, in L.A., the homeless are probably 90% drug addicts and the yeah. other 10 are mentally ill and probably 58% of the addicts are mentally ill as well. So they they don't want the homes if they require any kind of rules. Yeah. So they don't want the So it's like, okay, first of all, if it's out in the field, how are they going to get there? So <laughs> once they get there, 
Then they're there, and then it's a real long walk to the 7-Eleven to go meet someone to buy the crack. Yeah. Before. So it's not going to work. Right. Unfortunately, they're not going to want to stay. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem with yeah. housing for the homeless. Right. End of story. I'll be <laughs> speaking at the LA Council meeting. <laughs> but that's the truth. I mean, yeah. they, we have shelters that they can go and spend the night. No one's saying they can't. Right. But there's a rule to it. You yeah. can't have your drugs. Yeah, you know you can't have your, you can't have all your your piles of of disease infested stuff coming into the homeless shelter. Right, and so if you're willing to give that up, then we'll help you get on your feet. But they're not because they're unfortunately not well. That's it. No, that's Kanye, the end of the story. Does for the Kanye still do, still do music? Is he actually making albums? And songs. The go the mu the gospel music, yes, mm -hmm. and go he has gospel singers come. And that's the Sunday service. Yes. And, and who goes to something like that? It's people that wear Spanx and sweats and orthopedic shoes. <laughs> oh, they wear one of those big ugly white sneakers. They look like the Kirkland New Balance. I mean, it's. It is just. Yeah, I, I saw her, you know, the one on the yacht, Kylie, whatever. Oh, yeah. Yacht, going to Italy big. for her birthday. I see, and I and see. she got the big, giant, white sneakers on. I mean, that's what, like, nurses would wear because they had to do a 12 hour shift. Yeah. And, like, and now this is the look. It's so ugly but you looking. You know what? Hey, the emperor has no clothes. One day someone will point it out. Like, go, go for it. I don't know. Yeah. But I, you know, I, I, my actual home is in Woodland Hills so I I can't say anything about you know yeah. the Calabasas thing but I, I don't think it's going to fly with people he's not they're not the only rich and powerful people in Calabasas so it's not right. going to happen and he wasted a lot of money on domes but if they want to bring those domes over to a uh, Highland and Hollywood and oh, plop those on the right street there. Yeah. yeah they already you have to get them out of their tents exactly the uh, where the, okay now I don't know if you're watching Bachelor in Paradise or The Bachelor, because I can fill you in with some juice if you'd like. Well, I, I, I watched the final Bachelorette, was it? The one that just ended like a week ago. where four, I, I, It's just like four guys on an island. Right. And the one guy kept coming back, and they kept telling me, you got to leave. Bro, bro, go, bro. Just right. walk away, bro. I watched a lot of that. Well, Lou, that's a whole different thing. The thing I want to talk about is something juicier than okay. that. Okay. There's this cat named Blake from like the previous Bachelorette season. Yeah. And, you know, all these Bachelor people meet each other. They all are Instagram friends. They all go to Coachella together. They all do stuff. Yeah. This other girl from a, from the, a recent season, they're both, like, recent grads of the, of the program. <laughs> they meet up on DM. Her name is okay. Kaylin or something. What's her name? Kaylin and Blake. Kaylin. 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 Kaylin and Blake. And they hook up, and they're dating. And that's all we know, that okay. they dated. He's on Bachelor in Paradise. She shows up. He's like, oh, shit. And she's like, I, he's not a good guy. He totally played me. We had a, a serious relationship. We both talked about pulling out of Bachelor in Paradise because we were so into each other. And then he just completely ghosted me. And now these other girls really like him. And I feel like, do I warn them about what an awful person he is? So the show airs. And right. I'm like, ooh, finally there's some juice. Well, the Blake posts this thing. This isn't true. I've got to speak up. And he posts all the texts that they exchanged between the two of them the weekend of Coachella or whatever it was. Yeah. Where she is like begging to have sex with him. Oh, really? And he's like, I don't know. And then after they do it, he's like, okay, well, that was probably a mistake or something. And then she's going back and... Fourth being like, I don't, can you pull it up and I'll read it? It's pretty mm. juicy. And um, so, I mean, really, I got to say to Blake, good for you. Because I was watching it going, oh, my God, he is a player. He is a dick. He played with her emotions. And then you see that and it's like blatant, like she pursuing him. Right. And being like, I don't care. It's no strings attached. All I want is your sex. He's like, well, come over, but we can't have sex. That's all I want. That's what I'm going to get. That's wow. her. Yeah. So she's probably just dying right now. That's the, are they are they currently on Bachelor in Paradise Island? They're both currently Island? on the Bachelor in Paradise. Yeah. So now is Bachelor in Paradise? They I, go to I, the I get Island. confused between this. Isn't there several ones like Fuck a, Island? And, there's like twenty five Fuck Islands. Yeah, there are right. But okay. None of them are called Pedophile Island. No, thank God, I've, I've thank watched God. that. We're we're about five years away from that unless we stop this shit. Okay. <laughs> so he's the blue, and then scroll down. Okay. 
All right, so this okay. is this is from Stagecoach. It was oh, Stagecoach. Stagecoach. That's the country western one. So Caitlin's not blue, right? He's blue. Caitlin. Yeah. Okay, Caitlin goes. I'm coming over. Blake, no, LOL. Dude, she says. He says, dude, with a bunch of U's. She dude. says. Yeah, that's how that's right. Here, why don't you read? Can okay, you read, read the blue? It. Can you yeah. read the blue? Can you see I it? I can okay. see the blue, yeah. Okay. It's fine. Chill. It'll be good. No. Wait, you're not talking about oh, the mic. Oh, sorry. No, that's what they all say. Come on, loosen up. Don't tell me to chill. And then there's a bunch of four, four crying emojis. Okay. Let's just have a good time, man. Again, that's what you all say. I just ordered an Uber. Oh, L liar. Oh, he, spelled, he misspelled liar, and then he wrote it again. And liar. Then, I'm not. Wait, where's the next one? Wait, where's the scroll down. Scroll down. Oh, boy. oh, oh. Here we go. On to the next live read. And then this is, I don't know if this is the same day or it continues. I'm sleeping in the shower. Okay, I like it in there. It it unlocked. We can cuddle, but no sex, LOL. Yes, sex, only sex. I have willpower. No cuddling. Ha, lies. <laughs> this what? is like the two one? retarded children talking <laughs> okay. to each other. Okay, keep going. Oh, willpower, he wrote in big letters. Yo, we both know that's not true. I know you when that's you... Me, that's oh, sorry, me, that's me. Yeah. I know you when you get a little alcohol in you. So they do know each other. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Um, say it. I date it. I dare you. Let me see. Let me see it. Okay. I know... Oh, no, you mean a little alcohol in you. Oh, nope. I'm a gentleman. That is very false. And it's like a weird face, like a, yeah, a like kissy, a, like a, like a, this, this, this is the face, emotion. like this, like a, yeah, like a side, like, like a, a smooch, like a smooch, like a stroke, yeah. like, <laughs> okay. Okay. She's if, still going. Okay. If I come over, it's strictly for sex. Nothing more, nothing less. That's what they all say. I'm just trying to be honest, you know. Is that her? Yeah. Oh, it's a picture of her. Keep going. Oh, this is fun. I know I don't. I know I don't know what to do. We have a week to decide. Oh, now they're talking about should they about do Bachelor in Paradise? Okay. Should they each go? I want to think about it for a bit. No, I need to tell. I need to. T everything's misspelled, so it's hard for me to read. <laughs> I need to tell before then, so that she isn't mad when she is down there. Wait. Let me see. He says no. I need to tell before that, so that. So she isn't crazy mad when she is down there. Now, I don't know who he's talking, who's about. He talking about. I don't know yeah. if he's talking about a producer or some other girl. She, Caitlin says, I don't want to make this decision today. Though we can wait until, like, Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday morning. Have you talked to Cassie about it? That's, like, another cast member. Yeah, her and Colton didn't say anything. I don't get it. Like, they don't text back? I really don't want to tell people, but I also, meaning they got together, yeah. but I also don't want people finding out and looking like a liar. Meaning, I think they're like, they would have had to share this information with the producers that they've hooked up. Oh, God. And they're, they're deciding whether not to do it at all or to share that information mm -hmm. that they've hooked up. No, I talked to them, but they just told me they don't know how anyone found out. Oh, so she thinks Cassie and Colton told the Bachelor producers and stuff that they hooked up. That's what it is. Is, okay. that, is there more? Is that my line? Okay. Yeah. How now, you... it's, now it's like a week, a couple days later. Oh, one yeah, week okay. before how Paradise. Now he, one week he before seems it. to be starting this one. He says, how are you doing? I just wanted to check in. I'm good, better. Everything is good. A lot of O's. <laughs> a lot of O's. Uh, I feel better, too. I think we... Wait, let me see. I think we cover... Covered everything? I think we are overthinking oh, over, everything. Overthinking everything. Okay. I still want to talk about it all, but we will be all right. Same, same, same. Then another day passes. Hi, did you tell Hannah? Now that Hannah is the main. No, there's two Hannahs. So it's either Hannah, the girl that just became, that just ended the Bachelorette, or yeah. it's this other cute Hannah who goes on the Bachelorette. I okay. mean, that goes on the Bachelor in Paradise. So he says, Hi. No, not yet. Why? 
and it's his little face like an yeah, inquisitive exactly. emoji like he's like okay I'm just stressed and I can't stop thinking about it I, I guess she's stressed about do we share our information with these people is that him that's him like just talking to the world yeah and so then um, Blake has since deleted the text screenshots from his story and has asked fans to stop attacking Kaylin. Well, too late now, fucker. You shouldn't have posted it. it. Well, thank you very much for letting me be a part of the read. Well, the live read. in your opinion as a man yeah. that's had many a dating and a texting relationship sure, with females, sure. mm -hmm. what is your opinion of that? And how would you feel if you were Blake? And then you get to Bachelor in Paradise, you guys ended it, you had one fun right. stagecoach weekend, but you both want to like keep this train going as being singles on the Bachelor in Paradise. Yeah. And she's telling all the girls that you were a player and tricked her. How would you feel? Uh, well, I would show them that Texas chain. I mean, that he, she was coming on strong there. He's not the player in that one. He had the receipts. Yeah. <laughs> but they both seem like, you know, pretty clever people. So, I mean, I, that's unbelievable. I love the names. There's no like Marys or Teresas anymore. You no, know? it's all or Compton others. and Cassie. And, yeah. Um, dude, speaking of emojis, have you heard about the Emoji House in Manhattan Beach? Do you know the story behind that? No. So there's this house in Manhattan Beach <coughs> that's bright pink. Okay. And has big emoji faces on it. Okay. Right. And the people in the Manhattan Beach are annoyed, but there's a backstory to it. Apparently, the woman who owned it was Airbnb ing it. Yeah. And her neighbor, who um, she th she believes this neighbor next door told on her. Yeah. So then she painted the house emojis. And there's some thought, like, are people annoyed because it's becoming a spot where, like, people go to, like, do Instagram photos or what? But one of the emojis has, like, those big lashes. Mm -hmm. And they think that's an F you to the neighbor who has, like, got really bad eyelash extensions. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is... I haven't heard and about Manhattan that And Manhattan Beach, for people who don't know, it's like one of the most expensive places yeah, to live in. Yeah, I wouldn't in... want an emoji house in yes. my neighborhood. In yes, Manhattan Beach. And, yeah. and I, I see why they're strict on the Airbnb like most yeah. places are. But um, anyway, I thought that was really funny. And then, you know our favorite show, Big Little Lies, okay? So yes. that's the mo it's a Monterey moms, and they're trying to get their own reality show. I couldn't believe how it ended this season. I couldn't believe that was the ending. I went to watch it next yes. Sunday. And I was like, why is it not on? Then I look it up. I'm like, that was it? That season ended with them walking into the police station? I mean, it was a cool ending, but I was I wanted more. It reminded me of the ending of one of my favorite movies of all time, Unfaithful. Oh, with... With, uh, with uh, Richard, uh, Gere Richard Gere and uh, Diane, Diane Lane. Lane. She has an affair with this guy, and the day that she ends it is the day he confronts him, and he ends up killing him. Yeah, with a snow globe. Knocked him in the head. Yeah. And... Um, Great movie. Such a good movie. Yeah. If you have not seen it, hot, it's my hot, favorite. Dirty, sexy, sex, yeah. New Yorky. Wind. Oh. Yeah, the wind starts blowing. Good outfits. Yeah. See, fucks around like a ra old radiator. Oh. Like, like those, yes. Yeah. And they in the in the bathroom. Yeah. I love like like a bathroom sex scene. Yes. Like a small bathroom. Where and they... she's with her like society friends, and he they go fuck in the bathroom. And then he comes back, and they're like, look She's at that hot too. guy. She's married to Chad Lowe. And he Lowe. smells his fingers, and he looks at her. Oh, <laughs> gross. What I the know. hell? Kind of I'm sorry. What the hell kind of behavior is that? I guess it's a little sick of me to like yeah. that part. But anyway, um, <laughs> but in the end of that movie, and sorry that I'm ruining it for you. I guess I'm ruining it for Wait, them, well, so don't go see it. Unfaithful, that's how it ends. Isn't Chad Lowe somehow involved in it? Doesn't he? He's his, he's his like underling works, at work. Yeah, yeah. And he and, sees them together in the restaurant. Or something. And then and then Richard Gere fires Chad Lowe. Yeah. But in the end of that movie, uh -huh. okay, still see it, you guys. I'm not ruining it for you. They're coming home from something, and the 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 now the detectives are sniffing around because they they knew that they go bury the body. Diane Lane and Richard no, Gere take it out to the garbage no, dump. No, he did without her knowledge. Oh, he, oh, she wasn't involved? So they can't find the body. They yeah. never... No, did they ever find the body? No, I don't know. I can't remember I if they know. find the body, but they, they're sniffing around, Yeah. and they are... The two of them are together, and yeah. they've like... They won't know that they want to stay together as a couple, but they drive right past the um, police station, and they stop, and the yeah. light turns green, and they're still at the light. And that's how it ends. Oh, really? That's so I kind of feel like they stole that from. Yeah. Unfaithful. They walk into the police station. Yeah, like do the they end. do they tell? Do they not? What does that mean? Are yeah. they all going to go in together? The whole thing was like, 
I guess if you're like, you know, rich and not equated with murder, that you would be like, we all have to stick together because the one girl in Big Little Lies, you know, got mad and pushed him. Right. But I also feel like if all of them were together and they were like, I know. But he was abusive. beating the yeah. shit out of her. We walked up and we pushed him off and she yeah. pushed him off her and he fell down the stairs. Right. Like, why don't you tell the world right now that he was abusing you and it's all I'll be over with? Yeah. It is. It, I love how I, I like that show a lot. I do enjoy well, it. Well, the first one was the book and the second one they just yeah. had to keep it going. Right. So it's like, it's never going to be as good. It was good. It was still good. It was definitely yeah. watchable. It has good music and stuff in it. So that's. Yeah, I, I love that the six year olds are like Fleetwood Mac fans. Yeah, I know. And they do a lot of like talking in, um, in, in Reese Witherspoon's car, which is a Buick. Which I drive the same car. And I'm always like, I like to reach for this, but I drive the same car. I mean, that it must be a. Um, they must have a, a, a deal sponsor. With them. Yeah, because. But I also feel like, do people listen to music that much, while they're just like cooking? Yes. Yeah. Like even <laughs> I know. even a lot even of... Meryl Streep, they come to yeah. visit Meryl Streep once, and she's got the music blaring, and she's just by herself. Yeah. Like what sixty eight year old woman is just like rocking it out like on a Tuesday? There's a lot. I also <laughs> I like how in in that show, and it's good that like all the men are just complete pussies, kind of. They're all being cheated on and yeah. emasculated, like the guy from Parks and Rec, and the one yes. who goes out with Zoe. Uh, yeah, she just like I never yeah, loved you. I and never he's loved like, oh, yeah, all okay. of them are just like frumps. Yeah, glad I wasted ten years of my life yeah. with you, hippie. Like, and even yeah. the one guy's got his little trains that uh, was, goes out with Laura Dern. She smashed. Oh, but his he was awful. Set. He slept with the Danny. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So he was awful. Yeah, he turned out to be. Well, anyway, a lot Great of show. a lot of people. There was talk of like, would Monterey? What are the real Monterey moms like? And would that be a reality show? So I uh, came across this article that. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. As a TV person, it it sounds like they put this article out here hoping that someone will pick it up because they found these Monterey moms to be part of this reality show and they shot a sizzle reel. Yeah. But they know Laura they know, Derns. They know Laura and, Dern and no, Reese they're not wealthy. Like one's yeah. a single mom, one's right. a this. And not that that matters, but I'm saying... I think the only way that a show like with that, they, people would want to watch it because they want to see those beautiful yeah. scenes from their $20 million homes. Right. And these girls aren't going to deliver yeah, that. Oh, knows. but there's a lot of drama and da -da, and they're try, they're all like doing these interviews trying to sell it <laughs> because like they're recently divorced and like, right. like every other housewife is like, oh, I'm recently divorced. I I want to, to work, which I haven't done in 20 years. So what's the easiest thing I can do? Oh, have cameras follow me around and go yeah, shopping. Just and... going, nobody wants to watch that for a half hour. Some woman in gauchos walk through a target. <laughs> <laughs> they still have gauchos? Is it so uh, hot? Yeah. Um, but I looked up the hot look for this fall. Do you know what it is? The square-toed shoes for the ladies. Uh, have you seen them? I looked up before I came here because I wanted to come up with something that was maybe... Kelly, uh, are you down for look. some square-toed shoes? Square -toed shoes. You're you're shoes. You, no, the front. Oh, no. Square no, no. no, I like a yeah. block heel just because it's more no, no, comfortable, it's but it's very like a high heel block. Yeah, I like that. But not a not no. a chunk in the front. <laughs> I'll show it to you. Yeah, that's the hot look this fall, so you guys, I suggest you guys get on board. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, that's what that's, I, I thought I'd come up with a better one than that, but it was well, I, square. That, no, it. you did come up with a good one. You're going to tell me about the sex parties in the Hamptons. Oh, yes, because Brooke Mueller... Who is Charlie Sheen's ex. been in the news a little bit because she was smoking crack in a smoking video. Smoking crack, and she just there was another uh, ad, another ad, another uh, page six article of where they actually had a photo of her yeah, lighting a crack pipe. Is yeah, that what you're video. talking about? It's a video. It's a video. Yeah, you can watch okay, it. Okay, what's video. the story behind that, Chris? Well, well, apparently she was coming from a uh, sex party in the Hamptons, a what they call a, uh, remember the movie with Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman, uh, Eyes Wide Shut, where he went out to that party where everyone's got the masks on? I never could get that through that movie. <clears throat> Is it that everyone puts a mask on and then you just go and, and stick your dick in someone but you don't know who they are because they have a mask on? So that's, no, it's like, a, like fucking don't tell? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And apparently it is a real thing and it's all the rage in uh, in New York City. Started out here in Holmby Hills, which is not far from where we are, right? I'm see, well, I guess all the pedophiles had to graduate to the sex parties. Yeah, so now they're going to the sex parties. They're like, ah, Epstein's <laughs> parties are over. So I gotta face Epstein's not having his pedophile <laughs> island, so I guess we just have to fuck other adults at a With sex party. On. Yeah, so you get 7500 7, bucks, you get to uh, be a part of this, and then you now the new one is in the Hamptons. They just had one. So one summer I didn't go to the Hamptons. You didn't get to be in the sex party. But apparently Gwyneth Paltrow is involved. 
like it, she's all like she goes. It says Gwyneth Paltrow and Bill Maher are are they said fans of them, whatever that means. Where did this article come from? Allegedly, allegedly, York, allegedly. The New York Post today. Okay, it's in the Brooke New York Mueller Post. Mueller said she she had gone. To, so Brooke Mueller's telling the New York Post that. That, that Bill Maher and, and Gwyneth are fans of it. No, th- th- that was that was the uh, New York Post saying that on their own. Oh. I guess Brooke Mueller had smoked crack on the way back from a sex party. But I, I, I mean, if I'm paying seventy five hundred bucks for a sex party, I, I don't want to be. I want Brooke Mueller to be a cracked out Brooke Mueller. I don't want to be fucking her <laughs> with a mask on. You know, I, I'd, I'd like a higher level than that. What's really sad is there was some, whatever the photo was of her smoking the crack, she had her kids in her custody. They're like know. in a hotel room. That's Charlie Sheen's kid, right, right? but it was like her weekend with them. Yeah. It's like, come on, crackheads. Those poor kids don't stand a chance, Can you right? just like not, can you save your crack and your sex-filled weekend for like when you don't have the kids? And then, like, I feel like everyone's like really oversexed, right? There's a lot of it. Like even this pedophile <laughs> shit, like keep your dick in your pants for a few weeks. Like if if Epstein came to me and said, let's get on a plane and go to a bunch of six, 17-year-old girls on an island, I'm like, no. Nah. I don't think he says that, though. Oh, really? I think he says, come to with me. To the greatest weekend of your life. And, and, like and, Prince gorgeous, Andrew. and the gorgeous girls. That, you we, Look, everybody's been, and this, they're sick fucks regardless. But I'm saying everybody, everybody that was 13 or 14 girl. Like, I remember when I was 14, we would go to um, the movie theater on Ventura Boulevard in Tarzana. Right. We would tell my parents we were watching a movie. And we would walk up and down the street and meet guys but that guys your like, age. No, like 20. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. That's like and, fast times Rouge Mont High. And my Catalina story that happened is we went to Catalina for the day, uh-huh. somewhere between freshman and sophomore year. We had two public school friends that my friend Heather and I met that, that joined the all-girl high school. Right. And that's who we became friends with, like the only two fun, kind of cool chicks. So they're like, let's go to Catalina. So I remember I had a Pop-Tart. A toaster strudel. I had a toaster, toaster strudel in the morning. I had peach shorts on. And you took the Catalina Express like we a little took, boat? So to one parent took us to, like, the Catalina Express or whatever. Yeah. And then my parents were picking us up at, like, 11. Like, we were going to a full day there. But okay? you, you weren't going to meet guys? No, we are just going because we, like, thought it would be a fun thing to do in the summer. Yeah. So the four of us go, and we got there, and we're like, this is it. Like, yeah, I didn't realize. Nothing to it. I don't know. So we get there, and we're, like, walking around, and... Um, we see these guys like playing, playing basketball and they're like, Hey, and they're, they look in their twenties, right. but they're like cute and tall. I kind of remember that, you know, like you, you 10 years ago. Thank you. Anyway, so that'd be nice. <laughs> so, um, so we have our whole day and now it's the time to get back in the boat, like nine o'clock or something. Uh-huh. I mean, these guys zero in on us. Right. And I, um, we all get one. Now I made out with my guy. Wow. Made out, standing out there. He was 27. And you're how old? I just turned 15, oh going my into my sophomore year of high school. I don't even think I had my period yet. Wow. But you, you had... You never, I had peach shorts on. A, for some reason, you mentioned top. you had a toaster strudel that morning. <laughs> I remember making that toaster strudel yeah. and being We're like, this is going to be the greatest day of my life. Yeah. Doing the ice. Right. Doing, oh, shit. Oh, it's all right. Doing the little ice thing. Yeah. Um, so I just spilled a drink on Chris. You got excited about talking. Okay, so 27. So 27. And I remember he goes, call me sometimes. He had a real job as an executive for Frito-Lay. Oh, my God. I remember seeing the business card. It was Frito-Lay. And I was like, oh, I like those chips. You could have been swimming in corn chips right now. <laughs> you could have you could have been a corn chip dynasty. Could have gotten pregnant, never yeah. gone to college. Right. Lived in the... Just, no, he didn't... Oh, because you know I don't think guys, he didn't own He probably had a land. route. He no, probably, he probably... It was like probably one of those jobs that you get, that like recruits you from the college campus. That's like your first job, like what I had at Robinson's Bay. Yeah. And because I remember years later when I was at SC, there were certain companies like Enterprise Rent-A-Car and stuff that would try to recruit people as like junior executives right, right out of school. And, um, and Frito-Lay was there. So, okay, so... I wasn't like, do you know, I don't remember his name, or, but I'm just saying... Do you saying, change numbers or anything at that point? Uh, I want to say I knew, like, not to give him my number, yeah. even though I had my own line, but, like, he gave me his card, and I was like, I'll never call this person. He's 27 years old. Oh, and we all lied and said we were 16, by the way. 
and he still went for it. Oh, yeah, just making out. But yeah. the other, the public school girls, they, like, went into the bathroom and did a lot more and with them. Uh, with the and other the guy. And, and the little Catalina, well. there's a little Catalina bathroom. Jesus, really? Yeah, we I found out later. Both the girls... Both the girls then left the school and went to Calabasas. So in a way, Catalina is Pedophile Island in a weird way. <laughs> I, who knew? I thought it was just a boring place to go and spend an afternoon. It's where Brandon went to camp and really grew I up. saw the note that he wrote. I thought that was so funny. I hope you're happy about your choice or whatever. And that was hilarious. Um, um, amazing, amazing. It's all amazing. So what would you do? I've, I know I, ha I have known people that have gone... There, look, we have the swinger parties here. I think we might have invented it here in the valley. Now, the thing it says yes. with this sex party, you could go and participate. You know, you or you could, can just watch. Or you could just watch. You could be one of the people who just sits on the side. Like, you, if you and Peter wanted to go and just Never watch. Never in a billion fucking years. Right. Now, just because Peter's not into it or, or you're not into it. Like, I, it's not something I would be into either. I, I, I have no desire. I just think at this point in my life, I just don't want to throw a wrench in it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just don't. Like, like I, Peter would be into, like, somebody? Or... There, first of all, we're, we're both not that crazy, like, out-of-the-box sexually, yeah. you know? And I think that'd be really hard to be with a, a partner that is overly sexual or overly into trying different stuff and you're not. Right. And I, I think that's really hard because it's like, you know, you want to be... Like, thank God I'm not the wife that's like... Had to do <laughs> anal for the anniversary. Like, right. I don't. Like, <laughs> or anything. But yeah. anal's, anal's tamed. Yeah, I don't have to do, you know, Choking uh, like, and oh, and hey, what do you think of her, Heather? Should we invite her over I to know. the double tree after your set tonight? No. <laughs> I'm tired. Now you're going to make me go down on something. I, like I just want the cookies. <laughs> oh, my God. I want the cookies to be alone. <laughs> that was always like, my favorite. You used to say, somebody's always sitting at the on end the of the bed. On the end of bed crying, yeah. which would be me. I'm not that good. Like, I'm not that great at sex. I haven't had a ton of experience. I know how to do it. We get the job done. <laughs> bread but and butter pony, you call Bread and butter boner. Yeah. I don't need an expert coming in and showing off. Yeah. Like, and doing tricks and spinning around. I right. can't. But, like, eventually you get to a point where they're like, oh, no, we don't need that. Everybody That's what I'm saying. Relax. Like, like, like. At a certain point, you're like, you see that, I feel like the years that that shit happens and yeah. people get divorced is like more like, like early 40s. Yeah. And I'm past early 40s. So I feel like I'm not willing to throw a wrench in my life now. I think the when that happens is when, when I, why I say it's the early 40s, and I think my people would relate. It's like you've been married t like 10 years. You got yeah. married at 30, you've been married 10 years. The kids that once could drown at the pool party now can swim. Okay. Yeah, so right. now you can have a couple cocktails. Yeah. So now you're having some cocktails and now and you're having a little more freedom. And nobody's in diapers. You're if you don't work, you're free from eight to two thirty. Yeah. To go to the gym, talk to that guy at Starbucks, get a trainer, sign up for a boot job. You finally right. have enough money. Your husband just got it. Yeah. <laughs> Free, another Frito Lay. Uh, a Frito Lay, yeah. like you got a Frito Lay race, <laughs> and then you get, and then that's when that stuff starts to happen, where a uh, flirty, uh, you know, comes up to you at the Halloween carnival and uh, look at you. And I remember when you were a cheerleader, and and, and you could you can take it as far as you want. This is, I have friends that this has happened. The swinger world. It's not the swinger world. It's like, it's like like tipping dipping your toe in possible cheating, flirting, right. something. Yeah. Like, how far are we going to let this go? And it's just like, you're so, you're kind of bored with your own spouse. So it's like, a, like you're, you may not even want to cheat, but you're like a little excited to see uh, the, the dads, the opposite yeah. sex come to the party. And you're like, I just want to like feel young again, where there was like hope that like I might get hit on by someone else. And then, and you can go down that route and fucking ruin your life. Yeah, and also and I've I seen feel... it happen too many times. Now, can it's I just like the cat me... and the collateral is the kids, so it's unfortunate when so, it happens. Now, say you were doing this, so hypothetically speaking, you were you know doing this, but of course you couldn't meet somebody in like Woodland Hills because it's like a small community. Like, well, say you were sitting at a Starbucks in Woodland Hills meeting this guy. Yes, so, there's an outside chance somebody who knows you or Peter is going to come into that Starbucks. So you have to go a few towns away. Right? right. I mean, that's. Well, a, and even then, there's a chance of of someone coming in and seeing. Like, I, it feels like a lot of work. It's well, it's for people that have, you know, time or whatever. Yeah. And you know, and 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 you feel it out. Like, 
Um, I've told the story before, but my mom hosted like a dinner party for my dad, like brought some clients or somebody from work home when he was in advertising and she yeah. made a big fancy dinner. And then the next day, the guy showed up at the door. Oh, you told me that's such yeah, a great... Yeah, I probably told him... Like, he thought it was like, it's, it's on? Or he was he, into your mother? It was, it was starting to be the swinger time and putting the keys and everything. Yeah, yeah. So people were starting... Key party. To, yeah, people were... Like, my parents were, like, too old to be hippies, but then they were in the Mad Men era, like, yeah. in, like, the 70s. And, like, so people were just starting to smoke pot, but they weren't going to try it, but they were, like, pot at the parties that they yeah. were at. And so, yeah, it was, like... God, that's I so feel like you flirted with me or whatever. You know, my mom was like, no. And she never told my dad to like 15 years later because she knew that he would like beat him up and like end up in jail. Yeah. Like, you know, so it was just, but yeah. So I think I've, I've had it happen with friends where someone will like go up to my friend and say something kind of like really gross. And it's like, or, you know, we should, we should get coffee sometimes, something like that. Yeah. And it's kind of like, Either you accept it and you start going down that ro- road to see what will happen, or right. you just don't don't respond and you end it right there. It's fascinating. It's all. I mean, it, my parents quite the opposite. It happens they were, with they were in bed at seven thirty every night. <laughs> just, it happens with Facebook too, with my friends, like yeah. my friends oh, that that's are single, really, that are single or married, yeah. where like all of a sudden, old high school. You guy. see somebody make a comment like, "Oh my god, you know, you guys were always so fun." Oh my god. Joey, what have you been up to? Live in San Diego. Yeah. And, all, and then the conversation starts, I want to be down in San Diego to do this. We should get coffee. We should, right. you know. And I then, went. And then you, then you research and you're like, well, you're not divorced or whatever. Sometimes they go after the single girls, but sometimes it's like the married thing. And it's just, it's just, I think it's just really, I, I think it's easy. I think it's really easy to get caught, but I think it's really easy to do it. Too. So no sex parties for you guys. You wouldn't go to a Hampton sex party. I mean, I, I feel like I the closest I came like, to sex party you're, was, you're in that social circle. The closest bit, I came to Jill like Zarin was like going to there. oh god, those were not sex parties at yeah. all. They're just like super rich people parties, and um, but I think that when you like the closest I probably came was like going to like the Playboy Mansion, and yeah. I didn't and I really didn't see anything. It was no, just a lot of people just dressed up skimpily and like a handful of guys. Yeah. And it Holy was just like sure. Hollywood people. And that was a beautiful party. So I like to eat. I like to tell the story after. Right. But but then I once had a friend who her friend thought she was like really more wild than she was. And she's like, we're going to dinner for your birthday. And then I have a special surprise. It's be so great. And they rolled up to a fucking swinger sex party. Oh, really? And they're like, you don't have to, it's, it'll be funny. You can just like sit and watch. And she's like, that's not the kind of humor I'm right. into. Like watching... People from the 818, fuck. Talking like, <laughs> all I can think about, this is going to be a weird, even when I read this pedophile island stuff and like older guy, all I think about is dried feet. Like, you get, like when I look at the Epstein, like I feel like he's got old dried feet. Like these poor girls like, you know, I guess he's a handsome guy, but then I'm rolling around his sheets and I can just see his old dry feet. You know, because any guy who's 70, this is what I'm trying to say. Any lady, if you try, guy, yes. get a guy with moist feet, and I think you're gonna have a pretty happy life. You know what I think is, is a common denominator of all these pervs, and this is a testament to like normal guys, is is that they all were weird and couldn't get girls in high school. Yeah, probably. Either they became Either sh- cool pedophiles, or they or they were sexual harassers like a Harvey Weinstein or Roger Ailes. Yeah. They were not having girlfriends. Guys that that. You know, 90% of the time asked a girl out and they said yes. They yeah. don't suddenly start harassing your fucking secretary. Maybe they do. Write me a letter. But I'm saying if you were to do a mass study, right. I would think the majority have that in common. Because they don't... Because a normal guy... That's why you, when you were... When we would talk about it a couple of years ago and you were so like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm like, well, you can't get it. Yeah. Because you've had healthy, normal relationships with girls and... Yeah. Maybe maybe someone's broken up with you, but it was it's like you could still get a girl that night. Like <laughs> you're like not gonna and I think that's right. what it is. And I yeah. think and then and then, you know, the more time that they're shut down and they don't go out there and try again, then they're just like, I don't need women, I'll just have this, you know, weird shit. But wait, you have not seen the Roger Ale, the last No, place. the showtime. I'm telling everybody they have to watch it. Okay? I'm going to watch it. You know what? I'll watch it today. How many episodes is it's it? It's seven, and you won't be able to stop. Yeah. I, I it think... just ended, and I'm so sad. But 
It's so good, and what's so isn't but, Seth MacFarlane in it? He's in it. He plays like his like one of his right hand guys, yeah. and you know, yeah, it's not positive towards conservatives or Fox News. But it's. I think it's pretty. It's a scripted show, so keep in mind we don't know every conversation. It's not yeah. like it really happened. But when taking every article and every, you know, the thing that was not part of an NDA, I think they did a really good job in writing right. the truth. And um, and of course it's about the Gretchen Carlson who like took down Roger Ailes, and I loved it because I met Gretchen and I was part of her book. Yeah. She wrote a book after this. Unfortunately, she couldn't write about what happened. Um, but she kind of got the best of both worlds because she signed the NDA. Right. She got twenty million dollars, and she now with this movie out, she's you know I think she'll have a resurgence hopefully in her career because I think she really comes out looking great because when she first says it, yeah, everyone's just like it's bullshit, it's bullshit. She's liar. She was old. Her career was dried up. They didn't renew her contract. And what she did was. He was, like, sexually harassing her and being awful, and then she would, you know, he doesn't know, like, about iPhones and stuff. He's, like, an old fucking soldier. Yeah. So she'd just bring her phone in and tape. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and recorded the whole thing. And uh, so then when, when it was all done, she wrote this book that was really just about sexual harassment. So with my story about the owner of Podcast One and that I shared that audio, which was the same thing. I just shared audio of him. Yeah being inappropriate, sexual harassing, whatever you want to call it. He said he was telling a joke and it was being funny. So I don't know why he had a problem with me playing it. Doesn't he want everyone to know how funny he is? That audio from that you play from that, I've listened to it several times. We'll I'm throw not. it in here one more time. It <laughs> is classic sexual harass. Like yeah. workplace sexual harassment. And, what, and what you don't realize and when you see this movie and what Gretchen and I, because then I did like a she did like a book signing and like I think it might have been a podcast something that we did together um, was really the saddest thing is you love your job yeah. and that's what I the first time my friend was sexually harassed by the, one of the owners the guest owners Yeah. when she told me about what happened he grabbed her tit and stuck his tongue down her throat and she just was crying and she goes I love this job like, like that's what to, people don't get cause it's like I have to well why don't job, you quit yeah well why don't you fucking quit and then go what start, get, start, start all over again? like yeah. I like I like the job I know how it works like I don't right. want to start a whole it's new a pain thing in the ass to yeah and so it's like to say that so but in the movie you know with her we never really know how far it went it yeah. sounds like it was mostly just like touching and shit I don't think she was doing like a sexual act but with other girls they did admit that they would like end up having to give them blowjobs what Roger Ailes yes yeah. and stuff like that and he's so disgusting and Russell played by Crow, Russell Crowe um, yeah. I mean amazing he will yeah. win an Emmy for sure the makeup everybody will win an Emmy this is so good and um I mean he does the walk because he's yeah. like kind of handicapped and like and uh and but you know what I don't get is that some of the girls that did the worst things and stuff, th that's where I'm like, now, the other part was he had this one mistress for years that he, she was mentally off. And then right. he like almost sought that out and and controlled her. And she even says that you're controlling me because you're like, why is she doing, why is she still meeting him and blowing him? And she still has to show up at work in the cubicle every day. Yeah. Like, if you're going to be some rich man's mistress, can, do you still have to fucking do the data entry? Like, do you <laughs> right. still have to? Like, yeah. that's what I don't get. And so, like, with that, with those certain women, I think he was just able to, like, get in their head and control them and make them think almost like a Charles Manson kind of thing. Like, I guess this is what I have to do. And if I just look at the spot on the ceiling, it'll be over soon. And, right. And maybe it'll be. And so then... Um, so it's just the whole thing is so good it takes you like tw you know throughout like the last 20 years and um, but now he's dead so we he's can dead, talk yeah. about him all we want what's but the name what's the name of the show loudest the loudest voice voice in the room yeah and um, but what I remembered and I said this to Gretchen is I remember turning on the view when all this stuff was coming out and you're hearing from both sides so you're like wait a minute was he a sexual harasser because her contract was expired and what happened was and it's clear in the movie is she um for a year she's recording him and stuff because he's also being so awful he's like you have an annoying voice yeah you're not as pretty as megan kelly like he'd be really awful to her okay right. and so she was kind of just like recording it as like you know 
And then um, she see, she's meeting an attorney. They're going through everything. They're trying to figure out, because of her contract, you have to you have to sue Roger Ailes himself, not Fox News, because you're starting something that you never... Fox News. But we can do it in New Jersey because he owns a house in New Jersey. Like, they're figuring that... So then someone comes up to Roger Ailes and is like, Gretchen's contract is coming up. What do you want to do? And he's like, don't renew it. Yeah. So she comes in and they're like, sign this. And she just acts like she's sick and she like leaves. She goes right to the attorney's office and they're like, okay, stay here all week and we've got to, we've got to, now we've got to get this out on Monday and it's not going to look good because now your contract wasn't renewed. So that's the first defense that the Roger Ailes people go for is she's a disgruntled worker. Her contract right. wasn't, but anyone with a brain would go, well, wait a minute, you can't like do a 55 page like complaint or whatever it is in three days. Like obviously they were working on this for months, but that's what the normal person at home thinks. So then I'm watching The View, and they're talking about it, and they have, like, a, f a former Fox girl on there yeah. who, you know, and all these Fox people, all these Fox current people are like, well, Roger has just been a great mentor to me. That's never happened to me. I, I you know, I don't know what she's talking about because, I mean, we, I've had a great relationship, and they're all saying that. And I remember Joy Behar was like, well, you know, she's blonde. You're a brunette. Mammy only likes blondes, you know. And I remember watching going... Oh, Joy. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? It's not about if you're blonde or brunette. Right. Like, you think he's only sexually harassing blonde? Like, it was such a dumb comment. And I remember I said that to Gretchen. She's like, thank you. I remember. Oh, it was Jediah or Jadia or whatever her name is had said it. Oh. And, um, and then finally, Megan Kelly came out and was... You know, and a, did she and, say and, that she was? Yeah. yeah. And she finally said, yes, I was too. And then that legitimized. And right. then all these other women came out. And and then, you know, so gave now her what, what happens to that uh, to Gretchen Carlson now? Is she does she have an, like I feel like if these these women have gone through that, they should be hired by a, a, a female run, like Oprah should say, hey, I'm going to show women can be powerful. I'm giving Gretchen Carlson a job on my network. Even the girl from E! who, who left because of uh, a contract, a money dispute with J Jason Kennedy. Remember Kate's her? Kat Sadler. Kat Sadler. Kat Sadler said, I'm not making as much money. And then she, you know, she left. Mm -hmm. And somebody, sh if a, a female run business should have hired her. I just, for Kat Sadler, and I like her a lot, I yeah. don't think. There are that many jobs of people that have an expert in Kardashians that are going to, like, I mean, she right. isn't, like, a real... Because now mean, I follow her on Instagram. She just goes around in a bikini, you know. Well, you got to do what you got to do. But she's not, you know, she's not on E! anymore. And then in that case, I don't... I think in Kat's case, she made some mistakes with that because a lot of it is that you you don't have someone negotiating as hard as, as the guy does, and you don't try hard enough yeah you know i mean you don't fight hard enough you're willing to accept less so i don't really think that's you know jason's fault or, oh i think it's jason's yeah. fault but i'm saying yeah. that uh we gotta we gotta hear yeah. close it up because i got something else coming up. okay but All wait right. i only just finished this real quick so anyway um so does gretchen carlson currently have a job um i thought that she was doing some show and it may have come and gone where she sort of investigated sexual harassment cases like yeah. on oxygen oh okay um she got $20 million. She's a mom. She's married. I'm sure she'll do something else. Yeah. But I don't think there's that, you know, and I don't know that she would want to do something like what she was doing, you know, like, yeah. I, who knows? But yeah, I think this, I think having this show, because you almost forgot about it because yeah. it was like three years ago. And I think reminding everybody of like what it was and what she did will probably help her career. And then she got the best of both worlds because she didn't have to tell the story, but her story got out with this movie. Yeah. I'm definitely going to watch that. Chris. Chris is going to be with me, you guys, at the Irvine Improv this Saturday there. night when I tape my special. So Irvine will be there 16th, 17th, and 18th of August. And then where else are you going to be, Chris Frangiola? Uh, I'm going to be at Santa Barbara on August 24th, Comedy Hideaway, a new comedy club up in Santa Barbara. Ooh, Chuck, I don't know about it. Yeah, that sounds night, like a Saturday beautiful night. night. Saturday night, one night. When's August that? 24th. August 24th. Okay, perfect. And then I'm in Arizona, the Stir Crazy Comedy Club in oh, September. Oh, yeah? Fun? Yeah. And that's, you know... And Everything, but gonna, and, and then you've got your podcast, Cover My to Cover. My podcast is called Cover to Cover. Please listen. I know a lot of Juicy Scoopers do. Yes. But I need more. Okay, you know? We always need more. Yeah. Need so, more. ChrisFrangiola.com, correct? Frangiola.com. Just Frangiola.com. Oh, Somebody took Chris Frangiola and won't give it back. Okay. Very good. Frangiola.com. Thank you, Bye. Chris. Bye.